Hey, what is going on, Guardians? My name is Chris, your host in this Destiny video, and in today's Destiny video, I'm going to be talking about the controversial nerf, uh, rumors and speculations and theories and facts that have been going around the internet on regarding uh, Destiny and all its weapons. So, before we get into it, I'd really appreciate it if you guys leave a like. Let's get this video t to 10 likes. That would be awesome, and it would make my day. So, let's get right into the video, and I hope you enjoy. So, auto rifles. What are auto rifles getting in patch 2.0 or the Taken King? Well, auto rifles are getting a 10% damage buff in PvE, player versus environment, raids, strikes, and other things such as bounties, etc, etc. Public events also are included in this. This means that they will be better in PvE and the exact same in PvP, not getting any change or any different. We do not know if there will be any good auto rifles for PvP coming in the Taken King, but if there are, then you know they're not going to get the 10% damage buff on top of them, they're going to stay the same. In terms of pulse rifles, they're getting a small nerf that isn't necessary, but they're doing it for the sake of doing it in my opinion, and we don't know the statistics for the nerf, but our speculations are that it will be accuracy, and it will make it harder for you to hit your shots. But, you know, you'll still be able to get the damage done on your Red Death or other Pulse Rifles such as Aegis of the Kel. In Scout Rifles, they're getting a 5% damage buff versus AI, Creatures of the Darkness. So your Thrall, Cabal, Fallen, and Taken, and Vex, all of those will be getting a 5% damage buff with Scout Rifles. And they're kind of like the Goldilocks sort of gun. You've got to find the one that is just right. Mine is the Hygiene and Noblest, which I love to bits. What's your favorite scout rifle? Let me know in the comments below. For hand cannons, thanks to Thorn, they're getting a huge penalty to range and accuracy. And when I mean huge, I mean very noticeable. So they will not be used at long range. You're going to have to use these things pretty close. And on top of that... Thorn, The Last Word, and Hawkmoon are all getting another nerf on top of that. Thorn's damage will be very, very little on its first hit, but can stack up on each shot. This means in PvE it'll be more viable, and in PvP you have time to get away. In terms of Icebreaker, you then have bullets regenerate every 8 seconds up from 5 seconds, meaning that you will have less ammo quicker, if that makes sense. The Black Hammer, everyone's favourite gun for Valis Tarek, or the tank that is on that strike. The Black Hammer now doesn't give infinite ammo out of thin air, but it auto reloads from the ammo that you have, meaning you can run out of ammo. So if you have 3 and 0 in the Black Hammer, it will not regenerate ammo for you. And in terms of the Almighty Galley, or the Yalahorn, or the Galahorn, whatever way you want to pronounce it, this nerf is to the Wolfpack rounds, and we don't know how much this will be by. It still keeps its original impact, blast radius, velocity, everything, but the Wolfpack rounds get the nerf itself. This is basically because the Galahorn is the weapon of choice when it comes to a boss. How do you kill the boss? You don't know? Galahorn it. How did you get Crota down so easily? Galahorn it. How do you do Atheon? Galahorn it. How do you do anything in this game that you get stuck on? Galahorn it. So, in terms of the nerfs we have, let's go back, auto rifles get a 10% damage buff, pulse rifles get a small nerf that we don't know about, scout rifles get a 5% damage buff versus AI, hand cannons get a nerf, icebreaker regenerates bullets every 8 seconds up from 5, the black hammer won't regenerate infinite ammo, and the wolf pack runes on the galley get a nerf. So guys, that is all the nerf information that I have for patch 2.0, if any of this changes I will let you know immediately. But, thank you very much for watching and taking your time to watch this video. If you haven't already, make sure you do hit the subscribe button for more Destiny content. And make sure you do hit the like button and let's get this video to 10 likes as it would be awesome. My name is Chris, your host in Spartan Jesters, wishing you an amazing day. Take care.